Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Maro. This is my gentle yoga class. I hope you can practice with me today as we explore the strength and vitality in our bodies and our breath. And we will work the largest muscle in the body, the glutes, yay, we're working the booty. Uh, you will need a strap, grab one, exercise band, yoga strap or scarf, tie a loop. We're gonna place this around our thighs so you'll need to have a little bit of resistance in that. Uh, and you will need at least one block, maybe two. If you don't have a block, grab a towel, fold it a bunch of times. We're gonna place this between our thighs, between our knees, and we're gonna be pressing into it. So you want it to have at least this much uh, width and then a folded blanket for other, under the knees and under our heads. So grab your props, jump into something comfortable, and I'll see you soon. <music> All right, everyone. Hello, hello. Let's get started. Make sure you have a block and a strap close to you, closer to the top of the mat so you can grab it. Hopefully you've tied that loop through your strap or your exercise band. And we will begin lying down. Maybe you can place your head on a folded blanket. Ah, and a nice way to lie down is just to lean to one side. This is probably the easiest way to do it. And then just roll onto your back. Yeah, so let's find today, let's do a Supta Baddha Konasana. So we've got soles of the feet together, knees open wide. See how this feels on your body. You can always place props under the knees if this is too intense. You can place a block just at that point where you feel enough stretch sensation in the inner thigh. You can support yourself a little bit, placing things under the knees. So find that first edge of resistance so this isn't too intense. Ah, and settle in here. Settle in, make sure you're comfortable. Make any adjustments that you need for your body. If this isn't working today, you can always straighten the legs out. Always an option to do something different. Ah, so let's take a few releasing breaths here to come into ourselves. So big inhale through the nose. Open your mouth and sigh the exhale. Inhaling deeply through the nose. Open your mouth and release. Last one, nice big inhale, breathing in through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Ah, let's all set an intention today. So set an intention to connect with your strength. Connect with your strength, which According to Dr. Rick Hansen, that wrote the book Buddha's Brain, he says that strength has two aspects. One is energy, and the other is determination. So connect with your energy and your determination here. Let's breathe into that. So begin to breathe consciously, a little more fully into the torso. Breathing in and out of the nose, if that works for you today, try your best to do that. If not, you can always use your mouth when necessary. So take a few deep breaths, long, slow inhalations. 
Maybe a pause at the top of the inhale and a long, slow exhalation and a pause at the bottom of the exhale. See if you can breathe a little more into your chest, into your ribs. Noticing if you're also breathing in the belly. And we did this last week. I think it was really helpful. You can place your hands right in the middle of the front of your torso where your index finger and your thumbs are kind of touching the lower part of your ribs. And then the other three fingers are closer to your belly. So you get an idea of what's moving here as you breathe. So see if you can breathe in such a way that makes your ribs move, that makes the thumbs, index finger move. And maybe the belly moves up as well. So try this for a few more breaths here. Nice deep inhalations, long, slow exhalations. And notice how your breath has a strength of its own. Your breath is so strong. Notice what moves in the torso as you breathe. And maybe we connect our breathing together as a group. Now that you found this nice long breath stretched out in both directions, exhale fully wherever you are. And let's inhale deeply together, breathing into the chest, maybe into the belly. Exhale, release that breath. Pause for a moment. Inhale deeply. Pause. Exhale fully. Pause. Breathing in purposefully. Pause. Exhale completely. Pause. Last big inhale, breathing in through the nose. Pause. Exhale, release that breath. And pause. Beautiful job. Continue to breathe deeply. As you find a full body stretch, release the legs down, arms overhead, and just stretch the body out. Maybe even rotate the wrists and the feet, the ankles. One more deep breath here as you breathe into the fingertips and the toes. And as you exhale, you can hug the knees in. Keep breathing as you hug the knees in and maybe you rock side to side a few times. And release the feet down. Let them be mats width apart, nice and wide feet. That's okay on the knees. Arms out to a T, and let's find some windshield wipers here. Let the knees kind of drop side to side, left and right, right and left. Doesn't matter which direction you're going. Just see if you can really slow this down. Slow down the movement. There is strength in being gentle with yourself. So keep that in mind as we breathe and move through windshield wipers. Noticing how the body feels today. Without any 
pride or judgment. Just notice what's there for you today. And the next time the knees fall to the left, let them stay there. Let them stay to the left. And then bring your attention to your right, I'm sorry, yes, your right leg and your right foot. And let's slowly heel toe that right foot a little more over to the right. Okay, as long as that's a whole body, yes, the knee is happy, the right hip is happy. All right, we want a bit more of a stretch on the upper thigh, part of the right thigh. So you can always place a block or a pillow underneath that right knee if you need a little more support. Good, you're trying to get your right knee in line with your right hip. And let's take that right arm up and over the head, reaching through the fingertips, three deep breaths. And let's make these directional breaths so we can keep our attention in our strong body. So let's take that strong breath up the right knee, right side of the torso, up the right fingertips. Exhaling down the right side of the body, softening along the way. Two more directional breaths, breathing up the right side, right knee, right torso, right fingertips. Exhale down the body, soften the face. One more deep breath, feeling that stretch the top of the right thigh, inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Release the arm, gently come out of this. Let's do a couple windshield wipers as a transition before we land on the other side. Notice what that felt like. And let's let the knees fall to the right. Let them fall. Just take an assessment of what this feels like. And when you're ready, heel toe the left foot a little more to the left. So you're aiming at getting that left knee in line with the left hip, in line with your nose, left arm up and over, reaching. So you've created this nice line of energy from the left knee all the way up the left fingertips. And let's find that directional breathing to stay anchored into our bodies, into our strong bodies, inhaling deeply up the left knee, left side of the torso, left arm, left fingertips, exhaling down the left side, softening along the way. Big breath in, left side of the body, inhale. Exhaling, releasing that breath, relax your face. One more breath, stay connected, inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Release the left arm down, gently come back up to center, maybe a couple windshield wipers, just one on each side. There's a transition. And let's hug the knees in. From here, let the feet come up to the ceiling like you're standing on the ceiling. Maybe the legs are a little bent, that's okay. Arms overhead. See if you can encourage the toes to move towards the face. Notice how that changes the stretch in the back of the leg as the toes come towards the face, the heel bones reach up to the ceiling. Good. Hold here for just a moment, continue to breathe. Take one more big inhale like this. Heel bones to the ceiling, fingertips reaching overhead. As you exhale, hug the knees in. Let's do that a few times, inhaling to stand on the ceiling, arms overhead. Exhale, hug. One more big breath in, nice and slow. Heel bones to the ceiling, toes to your face. Exhale, hug it in. And release the feet down. 
let's find a pigeon pose, a pigeon before we do our glute work. So we'll do one before and one after. Let's take that right ankle, cross it over the left thigh. This is your figure four or a reclined pigeon. Some people call this. Um, notice what this feels like. This might be enough. So remember there's strength in listening to your body and honoring it and being gentle. If you're not feeling anything here, hug the left thigh in for a little more of an intense stretch in the outer right hip. And let's take three deep breaths. Relax the forehead, relax your face. Breathe deeply like you did in the beginning of class, breathing into your chest, letting the ribs expand. Maybe the belly moves. Let's take two more deep breaths, inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully. Last one, big inhale. Pause. Long, slow exhale. Pause. Lovely. Release that foot down. Continue to breathe. Release the right foot down. Uh, let's change sides. Left ankle crossing over the right thigh. Pause here. Notice what this feels like. Honor your body. Do you feel anything in the outer left hip? If you don't, gently bring that right thigh towards your body. If you can reach for it. Interlace the fingers behind the right knee. Hold and breathe. Breathing into that outer left hip. Let's take three deep breaths. Inhaling in through the nose. Let the ribs expand. Exhaling, hopefully from the nose or maybe the mouth. Noticing how everything moves down as you breathe out. Good. Two more breaths. The last big breath, breathe into that left hip. Send your breath there. Big inhalation. And exhale, release. Place that right foot down, release this, left foot down. Ah, and we're ready to start bridging. So find that bridge stance. Your feet are on the mat, knees are bent. And feet are hip width apart. So just a, maybe you even poke up and look up, make sure that the feet aren't too close together. If you can see, if you can't, don't worry, just feel them. And we wanna find a distance that works for us. So I like to have my feet pretty close to my sits bones. If you have any funkiness in the knee, arthritis or pain, you can press the feet further away. So pick a place that works, but we do want the feet to be hips, hips distance apart, okay? So let's find our breath here in bridge, big inhale, long, slow exhale. And on your next inhale, find your feet, press into the feet, lift the hips as high as you want, squeeze the bum. Good, exhaling to lower, inhaling to lift. We'll just flow like this in and out of bridge. So you're inhaling, pressing into the feet, lifting the hips, squeezing the bum, exhaling to release this down. So find your own rhythm. See if you can really slow this down, just like we slow down our breath. You can even pause at the top of the inhale for just a count or two. Pausing at the bottom of the exhale for a count or two. Without any strain or force, let the breath be gentle and soft. Good. And then notice how it feels good to feel strong here. Your strong legs, your strong glutes. And you don't have to overly engage or squeeze anything. Just feel that sense of strength. We're going to do a lot of bridging today, so the glutes are really going to wake up. <laughs> good stuff, everyone. Let's do two more. This is like a little warm-up. 
So you don't have to overly squeeze the glutes, but just say hello, just a gentle squeeze. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Release this down. <sighs> Maybe you sigh it out and just notice what this felt like. If you need to make any adjustments with the feet for the next round. Maybe you need to hug the knees in or one round of windshield wiper in between sides. And we'll come back and do a little more bridging. This time you're going to grab the strap. So hopefully you could do this without getting up. <laughs> you can place the loop that you've tied in the strap around your thighs. Okay. You want this tight enough so that you feel a little bit of resistance when you press into it. All right. So find yourself in that bridge stance again, bridge prep or bridge posture, feet hip distance apart with your mind's eye. See that the feet are next to each other. You don't have one foot forward, another one back. So they're right next to each other and they're as close to the body as feels comfortable. Good. Gently press into the strap while you're here. We're going to keep pressing into the strap throughout our entire flowing in and out of bridge. So press into the strap. Big inhale here. We'll change the breathing a little. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, find your feet pressing into the strap. Lift the hips. Squeeze the bum. Good. Inhaling to lower. Keep pressing into the strap. Exhaling. Press into the feet. Lift the hips. Gentle squeezing of the bum. Good. And let's just go up and down like this at your own pace. Remember, you're in control of your body. You are in control of how much you press into the strap. Ah, see if you could just really move with your breath here. Breathing deeply. Let the breath move you in and out of bridge and feel really strong. Let's connect with our strength again. And notice how it feels good to feel strong. So Dr. Rick Hansen that I mentioned earlier that wrote the book, Buddha's Brain, he says that it's good to add language to, to this experience of strength. So you might even tell yourself, I feel strong. And it feels good to feel strong. So whatever words you want to use to let that sink into your being, consciously take that in because you are strong. You can always take a break, pressing into the strap if you need to. I like to say that we're strong and we're also weak in some ways and that's okay. doesn't mean that we're not strong. So listen to your body as you move through here. Let's do two more with the strap. Two more pressing into the strap as much as you want, squeezing the bum gently as you come up. And release this down. <sighs> so maybe leaving the strap on, you might be able to hug the knees in or move through some windshield wipers in between without actually getting rid of it. You can explore that movement here. Good job. All right, let's, let's continue to find our strength and our strong bodies. So come back. This time we're going to take the block with us. All right. So press into the strap just so that you can place the block between your thighs. And I'll turn to the side so you can see what this looks like. So you've got your pubic bone, you've got your block, which is the medium width. I want to say this is about four or five inches wide. If you don't have a block, you can, you can fold a towel a bunch of times and put that between your thighs. And then you have the strap. So it's pubic bone, block, strap. All right. So get that set up. Let's lie back down. You are in your bridge stance, feet hip width apart. Make any adjustments to feel comfortable here, adjusting the block. We're going to be pressing into the straps, um, into the block. <laughs> so make any adjustments, arms by your sides. Maybe you close your eyes, big inhale. 
And as you exhale, gently press into the block, press into the feet, lift the hips into bridge, squeeze the bum. Good, keep pressing into the block, inhaling to lower. Exhale, pressing into the feet, pressing into the block, lifting the hips. And let's flow in and out of this. We're just gently exploring this movement, pressing into the block. Again, you are in control of how much you press into the block, how difficult you make this. So connect with your strength at your level. Believe that you are strong. Notice how it feels good to feel strong. And really allow that to sink into your being. And of course, if you need to reverse the breathing, you can. There's no right way of doing this. You can inhale to come up, exhale to come down, or switch it up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Just try to pick one way and stick with that. And move with your breath. Let's do three more like this. Nice and slow, connecting with the feet. Feel both feet. Feel how strong your body is, the lower part of your body, your legs, your glutes, the largest muscle in the body and one of the strongest. That's why we're working the glutes today. As a way to connect with our strength. Let's do one more. You got this. One more. And release this down. Whew. That's some intense booty work, everyone. <sighs> Sigh it out. Do anything that you need. If you want to just temporarily remove the block to hug the knees in, a couple windshield wipers, you can do that. I'll give you a couple rounds of breathing, but we are coming back to the same place. We have one last round, okay? No rush. You'll need the strap and the block for this last round. And then we can toss them, throw them to the other side of the room <laughs> when we're done. All right, so let's all meet back in our bridge stance with our strap and the block, okay? So go ahead and press into your feet, lift your hips and come into bridge. Good, hold the bridge, continue to breathe. And actually let's link up our breathing with this movement. So as you inhale, you'll press into the strap just a little bit. As you exhale, you'll press into the block while you're in your bridge. Inhaling, press into the strap and the feet. Exhaling, press into the feet, press into the block. So feel your feet as you're doing this and just keep going. Nice and slow, feel how strong your back body is. Feel how strong your booty is. Largest muscle in the body. And as Rick Hansen says, notice how it feels good to feel strong. And let that strength sink into your being here. Let's do four more. You can do this. Nice and slow. You're in control of how much you press, how much you squeeze. Last one. Feel your feet. Lift your hips up maybe just a little bit more and release this down. Ah, oh, beautiful job, everyone. Ah, sigh that out. Let's get rid of the block and the strap. And let's find some windshield wipers, feet super wide. Just go side to side a few times. And come back to center, hug the knees in. And let the feet come up to the ceiling, toes towards your face to the best of your abilities, arms overhead, big inhale here. Exhaling to hug it in. Inhaling, heel bones to the ceiling, arms overhead. Exhale, hug. One more, inhaling, legs up, arms overhead. Exhale. Let the feet come down. Let's find our figure four, reclined pigeon, after bridging. 
Right ankle over the left thigh. Ah, notice what this feels like after working the glutes. If this isn't enough, hug the left thigh in. Hold and take three deep breaths. Two more breaths in your right hip. Last one. Release the left foot down, right foot down. Pause for just a moment. Notice what that felt like. There is strength in moving slowly as well. <laughs> and let's cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Notice what this feels like. It might be enough. If you need more, hug the thigh in. Hold and take three deep breaths into the left hip, noticing maybe what this side feels like or what this round feels like. Is there a difference from the first one that you did? Two more deep breaths. Relax the face, maybe smile a little bit. One more breath. And release this down. <sighs> We're ready to come up to move our bodies a little bit more. So lean to one side. Take your time, there's no rush. And we'll gently press ourselves up to hands and knees. Ah, and maybe you bring your blanket with you. Take that blanket with you, place it under the knees for extra padding. So knees are under your hips, wrists under your shoulders or a little more forward actually it might feel better. All right, spread the fingers in the right hand really wide, gently pressing the palm and the fingertips into the mat. Spread the fingers in the left hand, same thing, just a gentle pressing of the palm and the fingertips. And let's tuck the toes, we'll get a little foot stretch here. So as you inhale, just lean a little bit to the right and then a little bit forward. You're in control of how, for, how far forward you go. And as you exhale, just shift to the left, and back, and you're in control of how far back you go. Maybe you work towards sitting on your heels, if that's okay on the knees. So you control how big these circles are, inhaling right and forward, exhaling left and back. Let's do one more in this direction. Big breath in, right and forward. Big breath out, left and back. And let's change the direction. Now you'll inhale left and forward. Exhaling right and back. Good. Two more on your own. One more. And come back up to neutral tabletop. You can leave the toes tucked if you want. Moving through cat cows, you don't have to. As you inhale deeply, drop your belly, lift your gaze. And exhale to neutral. If you have osteoporosis in the spine, otherwise round the spine, releasing the head and neck. Inhaling to arch the spine. Lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Exhale to neutral or table, or sorry, <laughs> neutral or cat pose. Let's do a few more like this. Find your own rhythm. I like to close my eyes when I do this, just so I can really connect and come into myself and feel my body. So breathe here. Breathe, feel strong, how strong your breath is, reaching all these parts of the torso as you're moving through this. Let's do one more. Good, from here, go ahead and step that right foot through. 
Ah, we'll give our wrists a little break. Inhaling to come up to low lunge. Yeah, notice what your where your hips are. Let's make sure that they're square. You might need to pull that right hip back a little, left hip forward. Uh, when you found your position, hips are in the right place, low ribs are down, reach the fingertips up. And I try to tuck the back toes, if that's okay on your balance. And let's see if we can just feel the strength in our glutes. We don't need to overly clench here, but just gently press into that front foot, your right foot, just a gentle pressing. You can play around with pressing into the big toe a little bit, maybe into the heel. And just notice if you can feel the right glute and then press into the back toe, the left toe, see what that does for you. And this is just a gentle engagement, just to say hello, hello to the glutes, hello glutes that we just worked. <laughs> And now for two more breaths, I want you to feel your whole body in this shape. Breathe here. Breathe and feel strong. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. One more breath. And release this down. We'll switch sides. Bring that right leg back. Actually, let's do one cat cow in between. So inhaling deeply, drop the belly. Exhale to neutral, belly in and up, or around the spine, belly in and up. And come back to neutral, step the left leg through. Stepping it through so we can get set up for low lunge on the other side. Inhale to come up, just checking in with the hips. You can bring your hands down. Maybe you need to gently pull that right hip forward a little, left hip back so they're level in line with each other. Arms up, low ribs down. Uh, and let's find our glutes, tuck the back toes, if that's okay on your balance. Just gently press into that front foot. Just explore here, experiment. We're not overly clenching, overly engaging, just a little pressing in the foot. See what that does into the heel. Might wake things up for you, press into that back toe. Ah, good, now let's take three deep breaths. Feeling ourselves in this shape, feeling strong. Breathe deeply. Feeling the strong breath coming into the body, expanding the torso in all the directions and feeling our strong legs in this low lunge. One more breath. And release this down. Ooh, good. We'll come into a neutral tabletop and let's extend the right leg back, tucking the toes on the mat, finding a little stretch in the back of the right leg, okay? Good, you can stay here, this might be enough. Maybe you reach the left fingertips forward. So you're balancing here on the right hand, left knee. You've got the right leg back, left toes, left fingertips forward. And look down at your mat, to the neck is an extension of the spine. Belly in and up. Good, we'll flow in and out of this. Maybe hold a balancing tabletop. Really test our strength. So as you inhale, reach the limbs up. So left leg, right leg up, left arm up. Exhaling to lower it down. Big breath in, come into a balancing tabletop. Exhaling to lower. Let's do one more, inhaling to come up. Exhale, release, good. And maybe you hold your balancing tabletop. You can inhale to come up and hold. I do wanna show you one option if this is too much on the wrists. You can always grab bolsters and place your forearms on the bolsters like this. This might work for you a little bit better to hold the balancing tabletop. Just wanted to show you that. So whichever variation you're using, if you're on your forearms, uh, feel how strong your body is. One more breath. Let that strength sink into your being. And we'll release this down and find child's pose as a break between the two. Yes, good job, everyone. Maybe knees apart or knees together. Hips can be high or closer to the heels. Forehead on the mat or a block. Ah, let's release all the effort here. 
the strongest, even the strongest people need rest. Everyone needs rest. So rest here for three breaths. We'll slowly come up so we can explore the other side. If you're using bolsters and you're balancing tabletop, you can have those handy or a stack of pillows. Extend the left leg back, tuck the toes, feel a little stretch in the back of the left leg. Pull the belly in and up. We're not sagging in our torso, belly in and up. Good, reach the right fingertips forward. You're touching the mat. Look down at the mat. This might be enough. Maybe we flow a little as you inhale, balancing tabletop, exhaling to lower everything down, inhale, balancing tabletop, exhale to lower. Good, one more inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And you can hold any variation of this, come up into your balancing tabletop, if you want to come onto your forearms, want a stack of pillows, do that. Wherever you are, feel how strong your body is. Feel the strength in your breath. Feel the strength in the muscles. Let that strength sink into your being. One more breath. And release this down. Whew. Good job. Let's rest again in child's pose just for a few breaths. Rotating the wrists in one direction. Rotating them the other way. And we'll gently come up to table again. We'll do round two of low lunge. So step that right foot forward. Inhaling to come up to low lunge. And I want to offer an option here. This is optional. You can stay here, enjoying the shape, breathing in the shape. Or you can tuck the back toes and just play around with lifting the back knee off the mat as much as you want. It's, I think it's a little harder if it's the knee is closer to the ground than if you try to straighten that back leg. But wherever you are, see if you can find your glutes. If you're in your high lunge, definitely pressing into that front foot, front heel, and the back toe will wake up your booty. So feel strong wherever you are. Breathe and feel really strong. Feel the strength in your legs. Feel the strength in your breath. One more breath. High lungers. Gently land, gently placing that knee back down on the mat <sighs> and release the hands down. Good job. Come back through table just for a few rounds of cat cows. Inhaling, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, neutral or cat pose. Do two more on your own. One more. Coming back to neutral tabletop, step the, step the left leg through. Round two on the left side, inhaling to come up, low lunge. All right, so you decide, do what's best for your body. There is strength in listening to your body. You could stay here. If you wanna try something a little more challenging, tuck the back toes. And if this is okay on the right knee, lift it up. See how high you wanna come up. Good, press into that front foot. Press into the back toes, wake up the booty, feel strong in both legs. Wherever you are, let's hold for two more deep breaths. You can tell yourself, I am strong and it feels good to feel strong. Consciously take that in. If you're in high lunge, slowly land, nice and gently, right knee on the mat. Good, release the hands down. 
Ah, and let's wind it down. Come into the child's pose. Send the hips back. If there's something else you would rather do, do that. We'll just stay here, releasing all effort. Five deep breaths. Try to keep your attention in the body. Feel and follow your strong breath. And we'll transition from moving to sitting here in a minute, or in a breath rather, in a moment. So taking the least amount of movements that you can just slowly come up and let's find a seat. Let's find a seat for our meditation today. We worked really hard. Ah, we moved lots of parts of the body and now we're ready to sit. Good. When you find your seat, see if you can see if the hips can be higher than the knees. Yeah, and then lean a little to the right. Take the left hand, pull the flesh from your left booty, pull it back and sit on your sits bone. Same thing, lean a little to the left, take the right hand, pull the flesh back and sit. So you're sitting on your sits bone. Good. Ah, let's find a little release in the shoulders. So as you inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears, shrug, shrug, shrug. Open your mouth and let it go. Let's do two more, inhaling. Open your mouth, release. One more, big breath in, shrug, shrug, shrug. Release. And you can close your eyes if that feels comfortable. You can always leave them open. Just pick one spot to focus on if you wanna keep your eyes open. And start by feeling your whole body. Just feel your whole body and make sure that you're comfortable. You can still make any adjustments that you need to find that comfortable seated position. There is strength in having a clear, calm, stable attention. So let's see if we can find our breath. Just feel and follow. Let's start with five breaths just to help us achieve that clear, calm, stable attention. So you're not emptying your mind. You're not stopping thinking. That's not what happens. You're just looking away from the distractions, looking away from the thoughts. Feel and follow the breath like it's the most interesting thing. mind may wander because that's what it does. It's okay. That's what we're here to train. Just bring it back. Make it more about coming back. So let's do five more breaths. Feel and follow five more breaths anywhere in the body. You can feel the entire breath coming in, or maybe you find one spot to focus on, on your face, your nose, upper lip, or somewhere in the torso. Now using the breath as an anchor, 
your breath and your body as the anchor. Just become aware of passing thoughts, distractions, maybe memories or images. You might become aware of your internal chatter. Feel the strength and awareness here as you stay anchored in the body with your breath, noticing things that are passing through your awareness. Your open, spacious awareness that's always clear and limitless. Feel the strength in your breath. Feel the strength in your awareness. In the clarity of your mind. Feel the strength in the wholeness of your body. Feel the strength in your good intentions. Feel really good about meditating today. You can always sit and meditate for as long as you want. Or you can lie down. You can join me in Shavasana to allow the body to rest to allow the body to absorb the practice. So like a super slow ninja, let's lie down for just a few minutes. Releasing everything, just let your body rest. Take a moment to reconnect with your strength.
before we wake up, before we move. Reconnect with the strength that is in your body, that is in your muscles. The strength that is in your breath. Remembering that there's also strength in being gentle with yourself. So much strength in listening to your body. Even more strength in being calm. And you can begin to find some movement in the body, wiggling fingers and toes, reaching the arms overhead, maybe a big inhalation, inviting energy back in. And you can hug the knees in as you exhale. And fall to one side. You can always pause for a moment, there's no rush. Pause here for one breath. And then gently push yourself up and we'll all find a seat together. Bring my palms together, hands at heart, bowing my head towards my heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste to all of you strong, Mindfulness, meditation, yoga warriors. <laughs> Hope you have a great day.